It's almost like we take the communication onto a platform that is easier, that is more familiar, that, that taps into the way we've grown up looking at snaps, sharing photo albums. I really feel that the, the multimedia advocacy process is very empowering for the clients and gives them chance and opportunity to really take charge of their own life, gives them opportunity to have no choices and control of the life and, and simple things like you know choosing the, the clothes, what they want to wear or what they want to eat. Again, it may have been for the first time in their life. On our course, we take that further. We look at what the possibilities are in terms of communication, in terms of advocacy and in terms of really centering the work that you're doing together, the support work, around the individual with an intellectual disability. The people with intellectual disabilities will get confidence, but they also will learn themselves what, what it is in their life that they may want to change. And having the support worker working through these issues with them, it will help them to understand how things can, can happen, how things can change. And through this process, they really gain a lot of confidence um, and, and get ready to, to advocate on their own behalf. So, for example, when they have person-centered planning review meetings, rather than sitting at, you know, at the table and not really knowing what's going on, because they rehearsed, they planned, and they really worked through these issues already, they are able to, to, to show the multimedia portfolio, but they are also able to say what it is that they want and what it is that they enjoy, what it is that is working well, and what it is that is not working well, and have some idea of how things can change and who can do what in order to make this change happen.